Hello guys, in this video you will learn how to apply typography style to your Flutter project. So basically we have created some stateless widget which we are going to be reuse again and again. So this is one of the standard guidelines. Instead of doing some stuff in your widget, we can make common widget and we can reuse this one. It's a good practice. And also we just following the material three guideline which is designed and developed by google so how to apply typography style which is very important you should know this topic before dealing with large scale project you can save a lot of time and very easy to use for example i have created the stateless widget in this widget i have a uh, two value i just receiving from this widget one for name and another for style i just going to be apply this name and style to the text view text view is one of the child of our widget so you can create separate file or common util file you can reuse this widget every time here we have have some padding adjustment to this text view you can see this difference i have list of text view you can see this difference between padding of every text view so which will be good for reading and you can also apply some additional style using copy with is one of the inbuilt function which help us to add more customization to your text style for example i have a style which i received from this widget i just want to more additional theme i just want to apply more style so i am using letter spacing 1.0 or if I want to add more color means you can refer this control click this one just simply control and click this one you can get more idea about how you can customize this one for example you can apply color code you can use comma separate here and you can use color colon colors dot red you can add color code like this so here is the common widget which is ready and I just going to be reuse this one in my stateless widget. So this is a stateless widget. I just showing demo for you like this. And here we have going to be called this widget text style example, which we already created. So I just passing two parameter one for label. So this is the name I just passing to this widget. And also I just applying some style text style dot body small. So this state we just passing to this widget. So name and state we just passing. Once we receive this name and state, we just going to be applied to the text view. Instead of calling text, you can use text style example. So you can name more relevant to your widget name. So I just showing demo. That's why I'm using a text style example. And every every uh, label have a three different type of values for example small medium and large for example i just using the body of text which have three type of category small medium large likewise i just want to show some small text means i can use label label also have small medium and large likewise when you are showing display in title you can use this three different type of style which is very important because when you are dealing with uh, title means you can use large one when you are focusing secondary content means you can use title medium uh, likewise when you are using some body of content you can use small likewise you can choose the your uh, requirement based you can choose this uh, styling so here is the example of uh, headline so headline basically like this large medium and small and finally displaying large medium and small like this so instead of applying custom size to your text view you are supposed to be use this one which is very standard guideline and you have to reuse your widget which is more efficient way you can dealing with your large scale project when you want to customize these things in one place it's really helpful to your project to dealing with large scale and uh, maintainable code and very easy for you so i just recommended to use this widget for you guys without using any third-party plugin you can do this more standard guideline way and 
these are very important just follow these notes you can get the source code from my website and see you guys in next video